Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about the NFL draft and specifically I'm going to be talking about the quarterback position. There are a lot of great quarterbacks in the upcoming draft, so I'm going to talk about my top five. So stay tuned. Now at number five, we got Hendon Hooker from Tennessee. Now my issue with Hendon Hooker, there are many actually. This is why he's number five. 25 years old, which is pretty old for a quarterback going into the draft and also coming off of a torn ACL which is a pretty major injury but when it comes to his actual game I like his mobility I think he's a great dual threat quarterback he's very accurate with the ball but at the same time the scheme that Tennessee runs I think that will not really translate well into the NFL Hendon Hooker if you were a couple of years younger I think he could have gone a lot higher in the draft but for now He's number five in my quarterback rankings. At number four, we got Will Levis from Kentucky. Now, it was kind of a toss-up between him and Anthony Richardson, but I think Anthony Richardson has more potential, so I put him above Will Levis. But I think Will Levis will be a really good NFL quarterback. I think he has a very strong arm, which I think he might even have the strongest arm in the draft, and I think that will be very helpful for him. He's also a very underrated rusher. I think he's very, he has very good mobility. He could be a very good dual threat. My issue is that he's very raw in a lot of these skills. Obviously, he only had 19 touchdowns, which the stats don't really show the whole story with him. But Will Levis, a lot of his skills are very raw, but at the same time, if they are developed in the right system, he's going to be a great NFL quarterback. At number three, we got Anthony Richardson from Florida. Now, Anthony Richardson, I am absolutely sold on him. Obviously, I am a Florida fan, which makes me a bit biased, but at the same time, this kid is legit. I think the only thing he really needs to improve on is accuracy which was a big issue for him this season, especially in the final game of the year against Florida State. He did not look accurate at all. But at the same time, the football IQ could be a little bit better, but he is a great dual threat. I think he has a lot of Josh Allen in him. I think he could be a great Josh Allen kind of player, a dual threat with a very strong arm. I think Anthony Richardson, if he's put in the right system with the right kind of guys that know a lot about the quarterback position that can develop a young talent like him he might be a bit of a project but at the same time he has arguably the most potential out of any quarterback in the draft coming in at number two we got cj stroud from ohio state university now cj stroud i think he's going to be a great quarterback in the nfl not much to hate about his game he has a great iq good arm strength but the best part about his game is ball placement he can put it on a dime perfectly that is probably the best strength for him overall a couple of weaknesses though one weakness for me is that i think he plays in a very stacked offense great o-line great weapons and in the nfl especially early on he might not have that so how will he adjust another weakness is that Sometimes in the big games, he doesn't play that well, but at the same time, he kind of removed that question mark from him when he played very well against Georgia in the college fo football playoff. Despite playing very well, they did lose, but still, C.J. Stroud, great player, but there is one quarterback better than him. I think you all know who that will be. Now, before I talk about my number one quarterback, I want to talk about an honorable mention, Dorian Thompson Robinson from UCLA. Now, Dorian Thompson Robinson, one of the most fun quarterbacks to watch in the nation last season, but I think a weakness for him is that he's inconsistent as a downfield passer, and he has an okay arm overall, but still, he is a great athlete. He's very athletic, great mobility. I think definitely elite mobility i think he could be a great backup in the nfl for sure now coming in at number one i think you already know bryce young from alabama bryce young i love bryce young as a prospect great football iq for one also great improviser he can make plays on his feet also great arm strength great ball placement and he's very accurate with the football but the one disadvantage for Bryce Young that may hold him back from being a great NFL quarterback is his height. They have him listed at six foot, which that might be a bit of an exaggeration too. He might only be 5'10", which that could be a huge issue for Bryce Young if he wants to be a great quarterback in the NFL. 
and I would be concerned if I were a GM, but at the same time, what he has shown at Alabama and what he's done at Alabama is undeniable. Bryce Young, if he can really get over the height disadvantage, Bryce Young will be a great NFL quarterback, a top five quarterback in the NFL. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.